Hi everyone, I'm happy to bring you the newest lipstick collection by L'Oreal. This is in French, so please forgive my pronunciation, but it is the L'Oreal Color Riche Le Nou, I believe that's how you pronounce it, collection. It is a range of intensely pigmented nude shades, so if that is anywhere close to your jam, then keep watching this video. I will swatch all of the shades that I have for you, and I will also do lip swatches. I'll give you a first impressions review of what I think of the formula and any other notable facts about these lipsticks. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and following over on Instagram. If you missed the latest video, that was for the brand new skincare brand, Bad Habit, and I give you my thoughts on some issues that I think you should consider before you decide whether you're going to spend your money on any of the products. Make sure you check the description box below to find where you can purchase these. These are not really yet on the market. Uh, this video is a little bit before they're widely available. I was able to find them on a couple of places online so that you can purchase them and I will find the most affordable option for you and link that in the description box. L'Oreal says, Le Nou by Color Riche, 12 intense flattering nudes with comfortable wear and color that lasts all day. Part of the house of audacity, go bold with vivid nude color and a formula that's soft, creamy, and smooth. So as we go through the video, I will keep in mind that they are claiming that these are supposed to be creamy, smooth, non-drying. They're supposed to leave your lips feeling soft. They also claim that they are richly pigmented and one swipe colors, and they say that they are smudge proof and won't feather. There are a total of 12 shades in the line. I have most of those to show you, but there are a few shades that I was not able to get. Depending on where you purchase these from, I was able to, like I mentioned, find them as cheap as less than $6 each, but I think more typically when you're in store, they're gonna retail for in the eight to $10 range each. Let's take a look at the packaging first. I kind of like it. It does have an older feel to it, but I also don't feel like it's too grandma-y. Um, it's this reflective kind of uh, coppery gold color. And if you want to know my nail polish shade, I will link it in the description box to where you can find it. These twist out. And what's interesting here is the silhouetted shape that they've formed these bullets into. Never seen something so sculpted before in a lipstick tube, at least not at the drugstore. And I'm gonna note for you right away, I haven't swatched any of these, haven't applied them just from twisting them up out of the tube and having them sit here on the table. There is a very strong fragrance to these. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, if you don't tend to like L'Oreal fragrances that they have in their products, I would not recommend this line. To me, it has a kind of florally sweet scent to it, which is personally not my taste. All right, first up we have the shade 171 Confident. This is a medium pinky nude. Huh, I'm gonna look at this swatch closely. I can't tell if this has any shimmer in it or not. Okay, I took a really close look. I don't think there's any shimmer in it. It just has, uh, in some places, pretty wet looking sheen. Shade 173 is impertinent. This is a deeper rosy pink to it. It's got a little bit of a dustier quality. I forgot to show you these bullets up close, so this is impertinent. Shade 174 is insouciant. And this is a bright kind of carnation-y pink. And this is what Insouciant looks like up close. Shade 177 is Authentique. And this is a deeper rosy nude. More of a warm mauve tone to it. Here's the bullet for Authentique. Shade 178 is excessif. Again, I think these are actually maybe French words and I'm pronouncing them as if they were <laughs> English words. This is interesting. This is a nude shade, but it's medium in depth and it actually has a peachy tone to it. Maybe I shouldn't say peachy tone. It's, it's like a deep peach color. Here's what excessif looks like up close. Shade 179 is decadent. Going back to kind of a mauve rose, even a deeper shade. It's not as dusty as this shade here. It's a little more 
red and pink. And that's what Decanet looks like up close. Shade 182 is Extreme. This is a very warm toned bricky shade. Bricky red. Here's what Extreme looks like. And I remembered on the very last one, this is 183 Exuberant. For some reason mine has like a Batman <laughs> sort of top to it. And this is a medium to deep plum shade. Again, with a slightly dusty undertone. All right, so there are eight of the shades of the nude line. Rich colors on all of these. Great pigmentation, nice glossy finish. And the bullets definitely glide over the skin very easily. Now, just from swatching these, I'm really surprised L'Oreal would claim these are smudge proof. My prediction is they are not going to be smudge proof at all, given how creamy they are, but let's go ahead and test out that claim. Yeah, these are, these completely glide across the skin. Not going to be smudge proof in the least. And the makeup wipe remover test. might get a little bit of staining with those deeper colors on the lips. In swatching these, here's my experience. I'll reiterate that there is a strong fragrance to them. Again, I don't find it unpleasant, despite the fact that the fragrance isn't to my taste. So maybe that will help you figure out whether you would be tolerant of the fragrance or not. The formula is really slippery. So it is quite moisturizing. You're not gonna have any trouble with dryness or anything like that. It's very, very slick and slippery feeling on the lips. Definitely will not be transfer proof or even smudge resistant. And after having actually applied them to the lips, I will say that although the pigmentation is good, in application, there is some patchiness or unevenness of the layer of color. So I found that I definitely had to go over the lips multiple times to make sure that there weren't patches where there was less pigment and where it was not opaque, if that makes sense. If you're in the market for some nude shades, this is definitely a great comfortable formula for you to wear. I think it's mostly just a matter of which of the shades would suit your preference and your taste. I also noticed that uh, several of the colors were not quite what they seem in the tube once they were actually applied to my lips. I found the most unique color to be excessive. And while I don't like it personally for my own skin color and skin tone, it's a very unique color, super peachy toned, and I could see it looking really beautiful on certain skin types. So let me know in the comment section below, not only what your favorite color or shades were that were swatched, but also if you've tried these, what other thoughts you may have on the formulation and how you like them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful to you in deciding whether you wanna purchase these or what colors you may want. This is the last video for 2020, so I look forward to seeing you in 2021. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.